Hey! <laughs> Hey guys, so I am, I've been planning some things, some videos that I'm really excited about. This is not that video. Um, don't, don't leave yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take you along with me on a day of running sprint workout and then a day doing legs. Okay guys, things are getting serious. Getting serious. I am seriously committing to a, a life change. I have been consistently working out for a while now. I'm actually really proud because I've been hitting all of my like calorie goals, checking off workouts, all of that jazz. But I have been avoiding some of the things that I know would be beneficial that I just don't enjoy or that are just difficult, let's be honest. Difficult. I'm going to start doing hard things now. The <laughs> I'm gonna start doing hard things now. One of those things is making better videos for you guys because I know that I can. <laughs> Not that I'm a full-fledged filmmaker, but I'm a person who works in film and I know that I can make better videos. It just takes a little bit of forethought and planning. So look forward to that. Subscribe. It'll be fun, it'll be fun, I promise, it'll be fun. Be so fun. One of those things is actually committing to changing the way that I eat. And I've been avoiding doing that all year because food is happiness. Let's be real. Um, but also when you have goals and you're just not doing the things that you know align to your goals, they're just dreams. They're just dreams you can dream of at night. And I realize that now, and because I wanna be committed to this, and because I also know that this is something that a lot of people struggle with, and not going on a crazy diet, unless it's like a challenge to accept. Just thinking better, or being mindful of what I'm doing, and does this align for the goals of the me that I want in six months, or a year, or whatever the case is. Because for my job, to be honest, I could get called today to go to set tomorrow. And what I feel comfortable doing that is a real question that I have to ask myself. So we're getting things started. But I'm doing this because I love seeing videos of people that are doing the hard things that I know that I need to do, but have not yet gotten the bravery or commitment to do. And I'm just hoping that there's some more of you out there that can join along with the fun. Or maybe you're already super cool and already do everything that you like and you can just, you know, leave a comment of encouragement. I don't know. Hey, okay. Anyways, here's the workout. So I was up late last night because I was watching YouTubers who were working out and I was thinking to myself, what if I actually treated myself like an athlete? Like I know it's been a minute since I was technically considered one, but what if I had the same mentality and approached my workout routines as if I was one? Like if I had a coach that was forcing me to do it. That being said, I initially thought I was gonna run this morning and it just stopped raining and it looks like it might run again so i think i'm actually gonna head over to the gym and maybe do a leg day i did start the morning off on the bike so i did 45 minutes in the darkness of just my goal to get 45 minutes of movement in as soon as the day starts just so my body can like get it together it has been super helpful in making me more efficient in the mornings so that's at least a plus. <laughs> Mosquitoes are biting me. I think today, I think the goal will be um, some drills and then sprints or accelerators. I'm really hungry though. <laughs> All I can think about is eating. Because it's already nine o'clock. So first things first, I started with some warm ups, did some skips, uh, butt kickers, hip thingy thingies, um, just so I could warm up because. <laughs> <laughs> 
also the fact that I can get gassed by simple movement is problematic. It's problem. I had an audition where I had to be British. It's don't like. So now I can't find my my what's the normal line? A normal line. I've had so many auditions lately where I haven't been American, which seems right. But it's confusing for my mind. Do you think we can do it? I hope so. Yes, girl, you can do it. Okay, so I started doing my runs. It started off great. I just want to tell you real quick, I was watching this video and a girl was asked why she works so hard in the gym. And she was like, because every time that I do something really great in the gym, it's like keeping a promise to myself. And the mentality of showing up for myself in the gym has crossed over into my entire life. And that's honestly the confidence that I miss from myself and such a good way to remind myself uh, in these moments where like, I just get really in my head about not being <laughs> exactly the way that I used to be. But I still get to be so grateful to myself for showing up for me. And I love that mentality. Let's do some drills, do five accelerators, and then try to run a mile. So I still haven't done that. And it's actually, a really nice place to try because there's a loop I can run. First, I'm probably just gonna do some squat lunge movements because while my lungs are gassed, I feel like my legs are not. So we'll try to do that first. Okay. So I went ahead into the squat and I really just wanted to push as hard as I could on this because I knew that I didn't have any weight on it. I ended up doing three or four sets of 25. Oh yeah, cause math, a hundred. Four sets of 25 on squats. And then for lunges, I'm pretty sure I did three sets of 20 each. And it was just such a nice day. It's so interesting because I am recording myself do all of these things now. Like I really am able to recognize that I have been thinking pretty negatively towards myself and towards this whole process. And I really want to rework that and just start having more positive thoughts and just start having the confidence because when I change like how I think about what I'm doing, it's never going to be fun if I keep having bad thoughts towards myself like is my form fantastic no but i'm also so glad every time that i shoot one of these and like girl i came out here in a field with myself and i did it and being by yourself is hard enough while working out i don't need to be my own worst enemy in my head halfway i think It's been a little over 20 minutes. So hungry. Like that girl, that girl needed a friend to say, you got this sis, it's fine. <laughs> Keep going. So just in case you're in a place right now where you don't wanna get up and work out or you're in your workout and you just wanna sit down, You've got this. Keep going. Also send this to me if if it's me next week needing a reminder. And next you gotta get into abs because a day is not a day without abs. That's the mentality that I want to have. I have been neglecting them lately and I feel a little fluffier than I would like to. So I'm going to try and remember to get some kind of ab workout in every single day even if it's just something easy like this so the fire ants uh the fire ants living there said no said no thank you so let's see if we can run or at least walk let's see so as soon as i packed my stuff up i got an email that i may have to be I'm um, at a studio tomorrow in a different state.
out of town. So I'm actually gonna go home. I need to call some people and see what's going on and uh, get to work. So heading home. Okay, so it's a new day and I ended up not having to go out of town. Um, so we're back in the gym and it's leg day. Start warming up on the bar. Just did an easy 20 reps on that just to feel out my hips, shake things out because your girl was scared. I just started back on the rack a week ago and so this is technically my second actual workout spotting but I decided to go for three sets of 10 reps with <laughs> 95 pounds. That is the face of fear. It was fine though, it was fine. We're working out the kinks. It just felt good to have weight on the bar and to be challenging myself again and you know to feel the muscles that I have in my legs. I was so excited when I walked in the gym today because there was a free squat rack and there was not even a weight. I was so happy. Half of the reason that I haven't been squatting is primarily just because I refuse to stand in line for equipment. Um, one, because I don't know how to interact with human people. And two, uh, it's just embarrassing <laughs> to take up space um, when you're not that great at a movement. And just that mentality that I have of like being afraid to take up space has been something that I'm currently trying to work myself out of because it's seeped into basically my entire life. And that's not really part of my personality. That's very much a development that has happened during the pandemic. But don't worry, friends. We are definitely getting rid of that one. And after a quick break, <laughs> trying to catch my breath, uh, we move on to deadlifts. So I'm actually keeping the same weight on these. I just wasn't sure uh, how <laughs> well I would be able to move the bar with the weight on. So I just took the weight off, threw it on the floor, and then put it back on the rack so that I could deadlift. Again, this is 95 pounds. I did three sets of these as well. Um, and instead of increasing the weight, I just stayed at the same place. That's a lie. I did sets of 12 three sets of 12 at 95. Your girl's shaky. We're working on it. We're working on it. We got to get it back. It's fine. <laughs> to the love of my life the leg press old friend so good to see you um this time i warmed up with 45s and then went ahead and put two plates on each side and i did three sets of 12 reps this is the last movement that i did in the gym that day i actually started off the morning on the bike and so I only came in the gym just to lift and then I went home to relax I use these shower steamers because they're like my current favorite thing especially on leg day and drink some coffee and then got to work and that is all friends like subscribe stick with me uh let's have some fun